Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, The Good, The Bad with Cat. I am Cat, and as you can see, I am ready to start laying down some color. So this is the second in our color monochromatic look series. We did hot pink last pink last time, and that's um, already up. And now today we're going to work on orange. So today um, we are going to be working on the Abby Roberts. We're going to be in the Abby Roberts Morphe, and we're only using the orange color. So it's this one and this one in here. And then I have my... Um, Lancome. It's like an orange shimmer that we're going to use. I got a brand new um, an Essence Neon Orange Lip Liner. I've got from Essence as well a Juicy Lip Balm for my arms. I have an orange blush that I'm excited to buy orange. Everything's peach, but we're turning it into, we're going to we're gonna, we're gonna dig into the orange factor. So I'm pretty excited. I'm gonna say something real quick. I don't know if you can see it. My foundation doesn't look as great as it normally does. I went ahead and I'm gonna do this in another video, but I thought I would just play with it tonight. This is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion, and I put it underneath and instantly I saw all my pores. So I'm not so happy about that, but what you gonna do, it's already done. I also just remembered I have this from the e.l.f. I love I Heart Revolution e.l.f. There's this really pretty glimmer orange right there, so we'll use that one too. All right, so let's stay down, lay down an eye look, and then we'll build up our cheeks and everything afterwards. All right, I'm going to take, this is at MSQ, you can see I hate doing that, but like a little bit of this, and we're gonna go into spicy. We use these, in the dragon look, was it the dragon look? Yeah, in the sun look, um, the solar system look. So they're very orange. Oh, Lord have mercy, don't look at the hair on my eyebrows. Good googly moogly. Okay, I gotta deal with that, I'll be right back. All right, let's get back to this. So we're into spicy. And what I wanna do is take this all over. I mean, it's very much Cheeto-y across the eye. We're gonna kind of go out a little bit on this one. Ooh, that was a bad idea. Okay, so I will say this color, and I did prime my eyes with my Super Base Eye Heart Revolution. Not my Eye Heart Revolution, my Super Base, my Makeup Revolution Super Base that I use all the time. And I will say, because we are, we're not only doing makeup, we're also gonna talk about this. It is a very much, um, it is blending, but it's also patching. So just, that's kind of interesting. So, you know, it's kind of sucky. We don't want to go too crazy because let's be honest, it's orange, but we do want to do orange. And I'm probably honestly going to put some lip liner on my, um, eye because I don't have an eyeliner. Now we're going to go into hot sauce and we're going to build out that outer corner dark and go all along the bottom with that orange, the hot sauce. But not quite into the corner. So not quite into the corner. So I'm gonna go up a little bit and blend that out into this corner to make that color just a little bit dark. So almost like a thick eyeliner. And don't worry, we'll go up and clean up around it or we'll blend it out. So see how I'm kind of doing like a, and I'm gonna only go like right there. Maybe I say that and then I start moving. Right as I said that I started going in a little bit farther. And I'm gonna go in, get a little bit more, cause it's not, it is patching. That's really annoying. So I'm going in and having to, and I don't know if you've ever noticed, but once something patches, it's almost impossible to get it to unpatch. It's kind of, well, the only good thing is we're going in with glitter. So glitter covers a multitude of patch. But, you know, it is very annoying. I'm just trying to blend as much as possible. Now, I'm going to do something a little bit bold. I'm going to go in and kind of pinch this down just a little bit. And I'm going to try to fill the inner corner. I don't think it's too, too big. Too big. Okay. I have a smaller brush. I'm going to go in and bring that. This is the spicy into that inner corner. And I'm going to go in and just lay down a little bit more to have the circle I want across the top and then come back in and I'll blend it out. What do we think? It's orange. Let's be honest. It's orange. I'm staying out of all the peaches and the yellows because that's something we could do to fix it. But 
the whole point is we wanted to do see what an orange eye would look like. So this one looks like this. This is they don't have colors in I Heart Revolution. They don't, you know, they just it's not something they do. This one is this too peachy. Oh, I think it shifts orange and gold. So I'm gonna go ahead. Let's try it. it might be a mistake. Okay, I like the I heart wrote the elf color better. That, yeah, I liked this color better. This one, I think it is too peach. So I'm going in and I'm just using my finger and I'm filling in the inner corner, but then I'm bringing that out. And that kind of just makes it all just look a little bit better. <laughs> I think it's orange. So what I want to try is opening up this Essence Neon Lip Color. I mean, I did buy it for my lips, but I also was under the impression that this would be going. Actually, we're not doing that yet. I'm sorry. We're going in. We're going in with Hot Sauce, which is the dark orange. Have you guys heard that song? Jericho Walls. I'm a doo doo bop, doo ba doo doo bop bop. I have that song in my head. That one and that I can be brown, I can be blue, I can be violet sky. I have that song too. And then I went with cheetah, no, sorry, spicy, and kind of mixed, matching them into the center like that. Now let's try this. Oh, it looks a bit red, so that's what I was worried about. that I mean it's wild I'm gonna go in back with the hot and spicy and kind of blend out the bottom line a bit I mean if you're gonna go orange you might as well go orange and go all the way okay and of course we do what we normally do so I've been using these Aveeno I thought they were honest but they're Aveeno calm and restore fragrance free nourishing makeup and they work pretty good so I really want to make sure I go in and sharpen that out a lot. So I think, what do we think? What do we think? What do we think? What do we think? Think, 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 think. I mean, it's definitely orange. It has a lot of yellow because of that stupid, that's stupid, that's not very nice. I mean, spicy is a yellow orange, so. You know, I'm just trying to, <laughs> I'm scared I with all the highlighter I added in there that we've done that. Okay, cool. Let me go do the other eye and then we'll discuss. Okay, now we're going to lean in. All right, so like I said, my daughter got me this. Well, she picked it out. My husband paid for it, but she picked it out. This is the minted um, bronzer in Beach Bum. And for me, it pulls a little bit orange, so it'll be perfect. I'm gonna go in and bronze up this cheek and bronze up my forehead a little bit. See how it kind of pulls a bit orange on me? It's a bit warm. It's a bit warm. This I got, Adobo, I got this. This is Charming Blusher, and this is a very orangey peach blusher, and we're gonna go ham on it. And uh, this is a, a blush I don't wear often because it is very warm for me and I'm actually going to take that a little bit and just orange up the forehead a little bit too. I'm going to regret all of my life choices. I'm not happy with the way my makeup look. I'm not with happy with the way my um, skin's looking. I was like, when I hit it, I'll know. Um, and then we're going to go into this Makeup Revolution um, Vintage Lace Blush. All of these run incredibly orange is a highlight. So I'm gonna go into this one and I'm gonna put that here to highlight my cheek up. And um, one of the reasons why I don't use this, I mean, I bought it, I looked at it forever and then I didn't buy, I, I finally bought it and I'm, it's not my favorite. I do love it. I mean, I, they're beautiful in here, but let me show you here. See how it, the shift is really, it looks so cool in the pan 
and then when you shift they're very 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 warm and like I said I don't really do warms so they're okay they're not my favorite all right let's put this neon lipstick on all right ready You know, I actually wore the pink lipstick out. The pink monochromatic look out. <laughs> it is horrible. And then this is an Essie, and I bought it because it's orange tinted. Oh, mm -mm. I hate juicy lip balms. I didn't like them when I was a teenager. I don't like them as an adult. Unfortunately, that um, neon goes a bit, uh, it looks pinky, and that's a little frustrating, considering the fact it is very, very, very orange. Okay, so we're going to do this. I'm going to take that off. I'm going to go back in. Ugh, I don't like that juicy. Wait. I'm going to put that back in there. And this color is, it doesn't really have a color... It's called Outrage, and I really like it. And then we're gonna go into hot and sp hot sauce on my lips, which is the dark orange. 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 All right, guys, this is the final look. What do y'all think? Um, I really love the eyes. I would wear the eyes out in a heartbeat. I am very lucky because I wear glasses. I know my glasses are filthy, but I wear glasses so I can go with a bolder look. Um, I did set my face with the Charlotte Tilbury Air Spray Flawless Setting Spray, and I really love that spray. Um, I feel like my cheeks look a little dirty. That might have been me. I did kind of lean in um, to the the color and to build it up. Um, and the lips are fun. They're not my aesthetic. That That's the worst word. I hate that word. But I'm not a big fan of warm lips. I'm not a big fan of shiny lips. But hey, it's orange and it worked. So anyway, I hope you guys liked this look. I had fun. I can just, I have to shout her out. This palette by Abby Roberts, I have been able to use for so many looks because it has so many colors. I mean, I have a ton of palettes, but to do this, you need palettes that have the colors you're not going to wear on, that I'm not going to wear on every day. This is great. So I'm going to be able to use it for the blue look, the purple look. I used it for the pink look. I'm going to be able to use it for the green look. Um, so I'm very excited about that. So good job on that. And what I found compared to some of the Revolution palettes, this doesn't stain. Some of my Revolution palettes that have similar colors, I'm skittish to wear them because there's a good chance it's not coming off and I'm going to have a bit of a hint of another color. Not a big fan of that. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys know you are seen, you are loved. I hope you have a blessed one and we'll see you in the next one.